So today we will look at uh, AZ400 designing and implementing Microsoft DevOps solutions. So this is a new series. We will start with some of the questions, but before that, let us understand what is the requirement for this certification. So as a DevOps engineer, you are a developer or infrastructure. So what is this DevOps engineer do? You are a developer and you are also an infrastructure administrator. You need both the skills. So what will you do day to day? You will provide security. You will do integration testing. You will do delivery. You will do deployment. You will do monitoring. Okay. And you will design and implement flow of work, collaborate, communicate, source control and automation. These are all things you need to know. So as a DevOps engineer, you work on cross-functional teams that include this, these people. <clears throat> so you see security is not totally your responsibility you would be a part of it but the major responsibility also lies with security engineers so you would be working very closely with developers site reliability engineers uh as your administrators and security engineers but your role will overlap your skills you will have to overlap these skills across all four roles so you should know all of these so what does this certification measure see this is a split if you see 50 to 55 percent questions are around design and implementing designing and implementing build and release pipeline so this is the most you you have to be bang on accurate with this stuff the concepts and etc then there are three topics like process and communications source control compliance and security they all are 10 to 15 percent the least important is so the least important stuff is the instrumentation strategy 5 10 percent okay. so there is also a free practice assessment test you can appear that online and the exam costs 165 dollars and it is available in these all languages okay well let us jump into the questions here you are configuring project metrics for dashboard in azure devops see devops azure devops you can plan better and ship faster uh, with a set of modern device device services so you have azure boards azure pipelines repos artifacts test plans and so on so these are all available here so if you want to get project metrics this is the syntax and this is how you can get the project metrics it explains here clearly what is the metric aggregation type api version and so on and then they are uh, how the response would come you want to configure the chart feature that measures the elapsed time to complete the work items once it becomes active so how much time it took to complete one work item that is what you want to find out and you you want to configure a chart widget for that so which of the following is the widget that you should use these are the different widgets and they are asking us which widget you would use to understand the elapsed time so for if a work took five minutes they want to understand okay this is the task that took five minutes this is being and configuring the cumulative uh, flow diagram you have you use the community flow diagram to monitor the flow of work through a system there are two cfd charts the in context report you can view from team backlog and cfd widget you can add to the dashboard so this, these are the two things you can do so the it shows you the count of items in each column so this for the selected time period then the second thing is burn up charts so burn down and burn up charts they are focused on uh remaining work what work is left that is burned down and burn up gives you completed work so in this question they are, they are talking about burn up so burn up gives you what tasks are completed okay here we don't want to understand that we want to understand the time taken to complete that work so we have cycle time and lead time they tell you how long it takes for work to flow through a development pipeline and cycle time specifically it measures the time it takes for your team to complete the work that is what you want you want how much time your team takes to complete the work once they become active and burn down i already explained that it tells you what work is still pending okay 
like burn up tells you this is the list of work that is complete now let us consider realistically in my office i am at a quite leadership level so what happens is if we are doing a normal waterfall without azure devops it becomes difficult to understand how much time it is taking so we have to rely on a microsoft project plan and there i can see okay these tasks are not uh, done and we are running behind or we are on time as a devops it solves a lot of thing for managers it specifically tells you hey you know in your development life cycle this is the 10 list of work and two are done three are in progress others are not active so it is a very good tracking tool you can use along with microsoft project plan in the waterfall model or you can use with sprint reports coming from agile tools like trello so if you are using i'll ask you one question if you are using devops will you uh, not want to use agile dashboards like trello no you will still have to use that this you have to use in collaboration for better tracking uh, better status reporting to the client and so on so this is one diagram i have pasted how it looks like so this is your cycle time okay once it is active how much time it took to resolve this is the time it took to resolve from active to resolved and this is your lead time that means a yeah, post uh, like once it gets proposed what how much time it took so now this question like similar you will get in the exam where they tell you that this is my problem what is the problem here uh, this is the problem the second line is the problem statement this one it tells that burn up widget it measures elapsed time from creation of work items to completion see burn up widget what it tells you how, which tasks are complete okay it will not tell you elapsed time so if this was correct then you would choose no adjustment required this one but this is not correct since it is not correct you have to choose what is correct in that case see burn down that means which tasks are still not complete burn down then there is something called test results trend so this is a bit different it tells you like if you want to track test pass percentage or percentage failures or what is the total test duration you can check this with test results trend widget it can monitor test trends over a period of time and it can detect patterns around test failures for example last month there were 5% failure this month there is 12% failure it will give a pattern and now it can also tell you hey you know most of the failures that is happening it is probably because of configuration changes or it can be because of uh, developer mistakes so those kind of details and you get the test duration how much time it took to perform these kind of tests in this case we are not looking for testing stuff we want to understand what is the time elapsed so lead time would be our answer so lead time measures our total time elapsed from creation of work items to their completion this is what we want so this is our answer
because that is what we are looking for in this question. See, in this question, a lot of people they they keep coming and going in the team. So the client is saying that boss, please automate the management of users and licenses because my administrators and managers are getting uh, fried managing this so we say that okay we can automate it there are a lot of tasks we can automate but then these guys are saying hey which task you cannot cannot automate this is the question so if you specifically look here license procurement you cannot automate common sense because you have to contact someone drop an email id talk to that sales person from that company and say hey augment and add some more licenses now if you are on cloud that piece can be automated but even if you are on cloud and you are using a third party software this piece cannot be automated so this brings us to the end of this part we will see you again in the next part but i hope you focused on the concepts